In my young adulthood, a friend of mine was moving from New York to another state. She was one of my friends who had a real job, like she actually worked for something that gave her money. Most of my friends didn't have remunerative positions. It was, you know, pick up work or having a kind of crappy job. In fact, there was a term for it back then called the muck job. So this was someone who had a real job, leaving the city, and she told me this story. She was having, I don't know what to call it, a, a, an affair, uh, a fling, something, with someone she cared about. And after saying goodbye, she left the building and walked up the avenue and at the corner, maybe a block or two after, she came past a bodega where there were flowers and she decided to buy a dozen roses. She went in, paid for them in the days of cash and walked back to the apartment, buzzed, and then when the door opened, handed over the flowers, and then walked back up the avenue. And when she told me the story, you know, I was, I was still kind of young and starry-eyed and romantic, and I thought, this is the best story. What happened? What, 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 did, what did you do? Did you stay? What, why, you know, what happened? Why did you walk up the avenue? And she said, because I'm worth running up the street for. I'm worth running down the street for. And it made me uncomfortable at the time when I heard the story. And I get it now. You're worth running up the street for. You're worth running down the street for. You're worth running after. It's not about playing hard to get. But if this is just a fling, here's your souvenir. If it's something more than that, let me know. Let me know. You can let me know. Let me know. It's more than a souvenir. You can let me know about that. I brought the flowers. Now you do your part.